What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel here at Jay's Cannon Corner. It is your boy Jay. Hi. And today I have for you a UPS box. Okay, bye. No, I'm kidding. This is a Empire Alchemy uh, haul. It is a mix of a pre-order and a ready to ship order. And it all came in one lovely brown box. You know you've ordered too much wax when you get it in a UPS box. At that moment, you need to, you need to just slow down. You stop. <laughs> but, but when do we ever stop? That's my question. It never happens, does it? No, no, it does not. So we're gonna just jump on into this box of wax goodies. Yes, I have my uh uh what's the thing invoice to give you pricing of what things had cost me and we're gonna just dive on into what's in this box in front of me oh uh, so here we go we're just gonna do this blindly you might I actually got four of these let me just get all four of them out so this is there's four of them uh grapefruit white tea and this is in her uh, little break away bars and this is tangy grapefruit rock sugar fresh mint and white tea i don't know why grapefruit is so not widely used in the vendor world and this smells absolutely amazing it's definitely like that pink ruby red grapefruit and that fresh mint really just adds an extra zing to it oh it's so beautiful the white tea makes it a bit softer and then the rock sugar just adds a nice sweetness to it it really balances out that uh that grapefruit and it sweetens up that mint mm. so nice and this is what it looks like out of the bag so pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Like I said, I got four of those. And these cost, let me see if I can find the pricing for those. They cost uh uh 350. 350 each. Now comes the fun part. Everything is going to be a guess from this point forward. Uh, this is Friday milk tea, which is lavender, peppermint, marshmallow, and green milk tea. And the price point for the, on, and these here are called alchemy bags. And these here are priced at, no, these are empire bags, sorry. And these are priced at uh, 1080. So these bags here are 1080. They are eight ounces. And oh, and the ounces for these bars are, I just saw it. I just saw it. Don't do this to me. I just saw it. Hold on. They are, uh, it doesn't say how much, they, what, what the weight is on them. So never mind. Um, pay me no mind. Just never mind. Okay. But anyways, so this is Friday milk tea. In a bag of really cool triangles. There's some thick boys too, aren't they? Let's give it a smell. Mmm. Talk about a bedtime blend. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. How cool is that? A little bit of glitz. You definitely do get that peppermint marshmallow. It's not super strong on a peppermint. It's definitely like that. It's almost borderline that, that um, buttermint type of peppermint where it's like vanilla-y type-ish, and then the peppermint is really soft and subtle and sweet. And then you get that lavender. Oh, it's, an, it's a nice sweet lavender too. Mm-hmm. No idea what green milk tea is supposed to smell like, but there is this nice uh, smoothness 
to this scent. So that's probably where that's coming from. That smooth aspect. Aspect? That's the word, yeah. Uh, it's probably coming from that green milk tea. And it smells absolutely amazing. So if you love like sweet peppermint marshmallow and lavender uh, scents, you definitely might want to pick up Friday milk tea. Uh, really nice. And, and the peppermint does give like a nice nose clearing uh, situation. It smells super, super good. Uh, this is Twilight Flower Tea. This is butter, uh, Butterfly PT, Meyer Lemonade, and Bergamot. And these are in also triangles. Some blues, some pastel -y purples, mauve, maybe. Let's give it a smell. Let's give it a smell. Let's give it a smell. Ooh, really refreshing. You really do get that Meyer lemonade and that bergamot. Butterfly PT, I wish I knew what that smelled like in real life so I could give you an honest, proper description of what that smells like because I really have no clue. But you do get this herbally tea undertone, which is probably coming from that Butterfly PT. Mmm, very nice, very vibrant from that bergamot. Oh, this is really nice. Mm -hmm. the, the lemonade is not super sweet. It's not super tart. It's right in the middle. And then pair that with that bergamot to give it that extra vibrance. Oh, that's gorgeous. Love, love, love that. Next up we have... Oh, strawberry kiwi iced tea. Lemony sun tea crushed uh, strawberry, kiwi, and bergamot. I'm, I love these triangle shapes. They are so cool. Oh my goodness. Y'all, this is amazing. It literally smells like what it says. A strawberry kiwi iced tea. The kiwi is there. It's not super forward, but you can definitely detect it. It's sweetened, it's kind of tart. The oh, I love her strawberry. The strawberry is almost like a sugared strawberry. Mm-hmm. And you do get that iced tea note too. Yeah, I, I would say you get the iced tea first, then the strawberry, then the kiwi. It's a nice fruity tea scent, which I absolutely love. That is nice. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'm glad I picked that up. Right up my alley. That is for sure. Next we, if I can get it out the bag, that would be great. <laughs> this is matcha bergamot, which is matcha green tea, green herbs, and bergamot and vanilla. Nice earthy colors on this bad boy. Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh. It's earthy. And you do get that matcha green tea, which itself has like an earthy undertone to it in real life. And the vanilla adds such a nice, sweet balance. It's not overly sweetened. It's just, it's, it's sweetened just enough to really bring out that green tea note. Oh, wow. I don't get much of the green herbs or the bergamot, but I definitely do get that nice touch of a, of a semi-sweet vanilla. And that matcha green tea is just what really takes it over. Mm-hmm. Earthy, smooth. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that so, 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 so much. All right. Let me see if I can actually give you something to kind of look at. Other than just the box. 
I do apologize. I do apologize. Okay. Next we have lemon leaves, which is lemon verbena, coconut water, lemon leaves, and sugar cane. Love the vibrant color colors of this bad boy. Very pretty. Oh, so green. It is a very green scent. That lemon verbena and that and, and, and the lemon leaves together, it gives it that that vibrant lemony undertone and then it gives it a nice sweet greenery tone. It don't smell like trees necessarily. It's just it's just a very nice citrusy green scent. Oh, Oh yeah, the coconut water definitely adds a nice aquatic sweetness. Very smooth. Mm-hmm. This is this is great by itself. It needs to be a great blender too. Absolutely. Next we have. Oh, oh god. There we go. Uh, this is. Blackberry matcha, which is blackberry syrup, green tea, vanilla cookies, vanilla ice cream, and bergamot. Now you're probably thinking, Jay, this has cookies in it. What are you doing? Listen, I, I can't explain, okay. It's not a bakery scent. Even though there's vanilla cookies in it, it literally just smells like blackberry syrup, vanilla ice cream, and a touch of green tea. That's all I get on cold. The blackberry syrup is definitely the forefront uh, note. Very, very, very sugary, sweet blackberries. The vanilla ice cream is, is very subtle. It's smooth, it's creamy. The green tea is definitely is definitely there. It's more of an accent to really push forward that blackberry a bit and give it a subtle freshness. But the green tea is definitely there. It's more so it's not hidden. It's just not as in your it's it's not as put forward. Mm hmm The bergamot has a nice subtle freshness. Oh wow, this is so good. So, so, so good. Oh, I love that. That is super nice. Super, super, super nice. Is that gonna probably stay there? More than likely not. Let me move this back some. Okay. There you go, sort of, kind of. Let me move that forward a bit. That's better. And I'm going to have to probably start standing up at this point because the box is too forward for me to switch it with my arms because I have short arms. Okay. This is Boys of the Summer, which is cool, clear water cologne, icy peppermint, and laundromat. Love the colors on this. It just screams summer at the beach. And who doesn't love a summer at the beach? Because I do. Let's get a blue piece. Oh, wow. Okay. This smells like... Ooh. It's giving me like... Peppermint body wash. And then once he got out the shower, he sprayed on the cool water cologne. And he smells like peppermint and cool water cologne. Laundromat adds this really interesting laundry touch to this. There's definitely a laundry aspect. Mmm. But you definitely get that peppermint. And you do get that, that 
that cool water cologne which adds this which adds an, which adds an aquatic note to it and the laundromat is really the the magical touch that is amazing that's a winner that's definitely a winner for sure next up we have one of my all-time favorites masamoto which is suncrest peaches cold water cologne white woods and white nectarine look at those colors oh i love this scent so i've had it so many times and it's one of my all-time favorites mm. it's such a it's a it's a woodsy peach scent you definitely get the white woods you definitely get the peaches the cool water cologne adds this it adds that same fresh aquaticness to it but it's not it's not so much in the in the forefront though it's more so just an accent note oh this is so nice i love this scent so much Oh, uh, the, the peach in this is so authentic. It, it's like you literally are sniff, like it's like you're going to a farmer's market and you're smelling a basket of peaches. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. If you're really, if you really want a nice, fresh peach scent, Masumoto, Masumoto is the way to go. Here we have Elysian, which is bamboo, aloe, tangerine, papaya, red fruits, and pineapple. Mm -hmm, it's beautiful. Oh, wow. I've had this before, too. It's such an it's such an interesting fruity scent. It's 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 tropical and it's fresh. The bamboo has this nice green tone. But you definitely get the pineapple and the papaya. The tangerine is 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 in the back. It gives off it gives me just this sweet tangerine juice. Mmm. Yeah. Beautiful, 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 beautiful scent. One of my favorites from her as well. And now we're going to get into the double donuts. And the double donuts cost uh, $6. So first one up is Hawaii Vacay. And this one is mango papaya, pineapple frost kitties, and vanilla ice cream. And this, look at that. How cute. Let's take this out the for a better look. How adorable, right? So cute. Mm-hmm. This is just a tropical drink all day long. Yep. You really do get that mango papaya. Oh, uh, you get like this frozen pineapple. Is 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 It's a difference between a fresh pineapple and a frozen pineapple. This is definitely a frozen pineapple. A bit more icier. Mhm. Mm a bit more a, a very very sweet pineapple a icy sweet pineapple is what i get with this oh yeah and i want to say there's 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 an alcohol note not alcohol like rubber alcohol but like a drinking alcohol note almost like a like a tequila or vodka is in this mm, it's really 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 good I, I don't get much of the vanilla ice cream but just that that icy fruity drink 
is is uh, a vibe is, is 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 what I get with this, and it's absolutely amazing. I'm just going to pop that right there. I'm going to do the rest of the donuts first. Next we have honeydew green tea mojito, which is honeydew green tea, mint, lime, and crushed sugar. See what those look like. Beautiful color. I got this in a sample orders ago, and I was finally able to uh, catch it in a restock. Well, in this case, it was in a uh, pre-order. Listen, her green tea is so, so good. Her honeydew is, ugh, so good. It literally smells like what it says, a honeydew green tea mojito. You do get that lime, it's a nice sugary lime. Very citrusy, very sweet, nice, nice, nice lime. It's not like that cleaner lime, it's just like, you took you 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 cut a lime in half, dipped it in sugar, and sniffed it. The honeydew smells like I smell like a freshly cut sweet honeydew. Mm -hmm. The mint is more so like a um. The mint comes off as like a, a mix of a of a spearmint and a fresh mint. Oh, it's so nice. Mm hmm. And the green tea just adds that nice earthy tea tone. So good. So, so, so good. I should have got two of these. Darn it, man. <laughs> it's always like that, isn't it? Okay. Next we have Mermaid Waves, which is beach grass, ocean air, tropical fruit, juice, and sea botanicals. Beautiful color situation there. Wow, this is gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Oh, you definitely do get that tropical fruit juice. It's kind of like I'm, I'm trying to pick up what the fruit notes are. It's definitely pineapple, definitely either mango or papaya. I'm getting more so pineapple, mango, pineapple, mango, kiwi is what I'm getting. Oh, wow. The sea botanicals, there is a bit of a a greenery note to it. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say doom grass, but there's something else. It's not kelp either. But you definitely do get that beach grass. It's more so toned down. Uh the ocean air. You can kind of get like an ocean air, salty sea air vibe. But this definitely is just a tropical fruit juice scent with a touch of beach grass. Very nice. One thing I love about Empire Alchemy and um, Anna's way of, of, of creating scents that's unconventional, but when you smell it, you're just like, wait a minute, this is, this is otherworldly. Like, it's amazing. This is Beach Babe, which is ocean salt, blue waters, and a fruity cocktail. Fruity cocktail! We love fruity cocktails around here. I'm a sucker for like um, blue Hawaiians and uh, blue motorcycles, and I love um, liquid marijuanas. Those are so good. And I really like. Um, What's the other one? Sex on the Beach. Love those two. So this color combo is very cool. It's like a pinkish, like a peachy to like an orange. Very nice. Hmm. This is this is straight up a fruity cocktail drink by the beach. You get that blue waters and you get that fruity cocktail. Hmm. 
yeah this is this is just a nice fruity drink by the beach plain and simple to the point nothing too complicated to really discuss about that and i think there's a couple more two more guys two more that's it this one is um let me get you the notes, I mean the, the pricing for this one. This is her waffle pears. This is, um, these cost $5.40. This is ladies who brunch. This is uh, blood orange margaritas, goji berries, nectarines, black currant, and champagne toast. And of course, we all know champagne toast is the Bath & Body Works uh, uh, fragrance. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Oh wow, you definitely get that champagne toast and that blood orange. Oh, oh yeah, this is definitely champagne toast and blood orange forward. Oh, citrusy, fruity. Mmm, there's there's a fizziness to this. I want to say she probably added just a touch of fizzy pop because I definitely detect fizzy pop. I've had enough of it to know when I smell it. And there's fizzy pop in this. It's a good fizzy pop too. And it really lends to that champagne toast and that blood orange. You do get a pop of the gohi berries. Mm -hmm. It's a very deep uh, berry note. Oh, wow. Absolutely gorgeous. That is beautiful. Very summery, very tropical, which is what I love. Summery, tropical fruit scents is like kind of my gig. And last but not least, we have Balmy Beach, which is cotton sheets, fresh fall and dew, raindrops, palm leaves, and asphalt. Cool color combo. I love the orange and the blue. Oh, wow. This is going to sound so weird, but it smells like one of those beach cabanas. I don't know. <laughs> like, it smells like a beach cabana or like it smells like you're going to a laundromat along like a beach. It's, this this is definitely a of a, a fresh a fresh laundry scent just on a beach you definitely do get the cotton sheets you definitely do get the raindrops oh wow you definitely get the palm leaves too the palm leaves against that cotton sheets is very interesting it gives like this green this green laundry aspect, which is absolutely gorgeous. Oh wow, that's nice. If you're looking for like a really beachy laundry scent, I definitely recommend getting Balmy Beach. That's gonna give you what you're wanting. It's definitely gonna give you that 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 beachy laundry uh, vibe that you're looking for. So that's everything. Don't you start that. So that is everything. Um, thank you all for joining me on this um, almost 30 minute video. If you're still here, thank you for still being here. Um, didn't mean to keep you for that long, but this was a lot of acts to get through. So with that being said, I love you all. Hopefully you all are doing well and staying safe and staying yourselves and staying happy. So until next time, I will get back with you all later. I love you all and thanks for watching. And I gotta, I, I, I gotta go. I, I gotta go. All right, guys. Bye.